Hi everyone, my name is Lo Kutzer. I published my first book, An Intimate African Journey, in 2012. I broke rank with the traditional approach to book publishing by not using what I thought was my best individual photographs, but to rather lure people into understanding different species and their behavior better and how that relates to us, our connectedness with nature and our connectedness with each other. During the so-called bush war in Southern Africa in the mid-1970s, I was conscripted to the South African army on an officer's course our much-loved corporals worked us over mercilessly, and part of their fun was for us to piggyback a buddy over long distances before switching places with him. The corporals would make us continue until nobody but nobody could walk or stand upright anymore. There was only one way out of this punishing routine. One had to simply win. The pair who won first in the first round was allowed to sit out while the rest continued their exercises under the searing African heat. My buddy was Tinus van Wyk, a farm boy from Middleburg, for months to everyone else's utter disgust. Tinus and I made sure that we came first on every single day. We remained firm friends, and years later, in the Galagadi Transfrontier Park, I heard an excited call over the two-way radio. It was Tinus. Lo, lo, where are you now? I told him I was just leaving the 14th borough. Tinus replied that he was about 10 kilometers east of the 14th borough, and he had just found a large pride of lions with cups walking very briskly in my direction. I was told to wait at the 14th borough as he would bring me those lions. For the next two hours, I received running commentary on the convoy's progress. They are now crossing the road 800 meters, 400 meters, 200 meters, 100 meters, 50 meters, and finally his triumphant call, here are your lions low. For 37 years after the war, Tinus and I remained the best of friends until his tragic death not long after the story. We were total opposites, me and Tinus. But every time we got together, there was an unconditional trust and the constant sense that we would be there for each other to carry each other through life's obstacle courses, regardless of its demands. Thank you for carrying me, Tinus. And thanks for bringing me those magnificent lions. I'm Bagashle, my friend. But I'm sure Tinas will forgive me if I make a card blanche statement to say nothing that he ever did as a father and tried to do for his children and nothing that I did in the same vein comes close to the work ethic and the total commitment of the male African Jakarna. African Jakarnas are polyandrous, which basically means according to Robert's Birds of Southern Africa, one female for approximately seven males. She mates, lays the eggs, and then she's done. The male jacana hatches the chicks, takes care of them from the first moment. And then just to complete this wondrous journey, African jacana chicks are precochial, which basically means that they fend for themselves from day one. And when danger lurks, dad picks them up under his wings. So when you watch this video, look how dad is actually still having one of the chicks stuck under the one wing while the other three are following him around. Father's Day, everybody.